Hi everyone, this is Hello India Doll Design. Today I am going to show you how to make this beautiful dress, simple dress to make, step by step tutorial. This dress has a princess scene right here, and I will also show you how to adjust your own pattern paper. And this dress has half circle skirt and has invisible zipper at the center back of the dress. Please support us by subscribing. If you're a new beginner, I would recommend that you try this dress out. If you'll be making dresses, I would also recommend that you try it out. And please follow us on all our social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. Please follow us at Hello Angel Design And subscribe. Subscription is free. If our video has helped you in any way, thumbs up on our video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And I will do my best to respond to your comment. And let's get started. First thing that you have to do, grab your basic pattern paper. So this is my body's basic pattern paper. This is the back and this is the front and it is age three to four years old child and this is the front age three to four years old child you can see that i have another paper right here basic bodies so what i did right here i just placed my back pattern paper on this white one that you see right here and i go ahead and trace it out because this brown one we are going to adjust it and cut it into pieces so make sure that you place it on a different paper and trace it out instead of making a new pattern paper over and over again. So this is the back. You can see three to four years old child and I've already had my 0 0.5 inch or 1.3 centimeter seam allowance at the bottom edge. For the center back, I also do the same thing. I add two centimeter or 0 0.75 inch. You just go ahead and trace it out and you will keep this one aside so we are going to be making use of this one and this is the front pattern paper so i place it like this and i trace it out i've already had my seam allowance at the bottom edge 0 0.5 inch or 1.3 centimeter for the neckline shoulder arm or side seam i have not had seam allowance yet so i'll put the front paper aside so what you are going to do you grab your front and back pattern paper so you can see that there is a mark right here this is the center of the armhole when you are making your pattern paper for the front arm all we always moved inside so that the front arm all is always deeper than the back arm hole the next thing that you have to do you pick your measuring tape you place it at the waistline so this is the waistline of our pattern paper you're going to measure down two and a half inches or 6.3 centimeter right here so i will come down here and i will do the same thing is right here so what you are going to do you pick your arm hook up so we are going to make it a preset seam so you place your arm hook curve like this you are going to curve it out you can see the way i place it like this you go ahead and curve it out like this so you can see how i curve it out so what i'm going to do i will just connect it down to the seam allowance I have connected down to the seam allowance. Once you have done that, you take your scissors, you go ahead and cut it out. I have cut it out. This is how it is. And this is my back pattern paper. You can also repeat the same process for the back pattern paper. But for me, I'm not going to make the back pattern paper as processing. I'm just going to leave it the way it is right here. So what I'm going to do, I am going to place my pattern paper on my fabric and cut it out. Before you place it on your fabric and start cutting out your fabric, remember to add your seam allowance so for me this is the center front you place the center front on fold add seam allowance at the neckline shoulder armhole 
and you also add seam allowance all the way down to this side when you're also cutting this side add seam allowance and add seam allowance and the armhole and also the side seam so i will place my pattern paper on my fabric and then i will show you how to cut it out i have pinned my pattern paper on my fabric this is the front the front is on fold you can see that my fabric is on fold and i pin it all together and i have also add all my seam allowance one centimeter seam allowance and this is the back the back is not on fold the back i'm going to cut two pieces you can see how i place the back i have also add my seam allowance at the side seam arm her shoulder and neckline I'm not going to add any more seam allowance on the bottom edge because I've already added seam allowance. And for this other side, I've also placed it on my fabric. I've pinned it together. So when I'm going to cut these pieces, I'm going to cut two pieces. It's not going to be on fold. Make sure that you add seam allowance on the side seam, armhole, and inside the precessing make sure to add seam allowance on it because that seam allowance we are going to use it to join this side of the front together so what i'm going to do i will take my scissors and start cutting them out The next thing that we have to do, we are going to cut out our skirt. This fabric that I'm using is a skirt that I bought from outdoor market. So I realized that I don't like the way the skirt turned out to be. So I just decided to recycle the skirt to make it a precessing dress. So when I bought the skirt, it's a wrap skirt whereby you wrap it around your waist and you tie it at the side seam of your waist so this is how the skirt is you can see how that is so i'm just recycling the skirt all over again so when you are making this precessing dress you can use half circle skirt or a gathered skirt so what i'm going to do i will place my measuring tape from the waistline of the skirt that i've already have i'm going to take a measurement of 16 inch or 40.8 centimeter so i will just go ahead and measure it around to this end and then i will cut it out I have cut out my fabric. This is how it is, the male bodies and the lining. For the skirt, I'm not going to line the skirt. I'm going to leave it the way it is. First thing that you have to do, you cut a piece of fabric. The width is two centimeter. So you place your rope inside your fabric and you close it like this. You take it to your sewing machine and you stitch it very, very close to your rope. And you repeat the same process with the second fabric. Place your rope inside. Take it to your sewing machine and stitch it very, very close to your rope. Once you have done stitching, then we can now place it on our top dress and stitch it all over again. So make sure that when you are stitching, you are going to be using your zipper foot. So go ahead and stitch that together. I have stitched it together this is how it is the next thing that you have to do you are going to place it at the precessing side all you have to do you place it like this you go ahead and start pinning all around so when you're placing it make sure the piping side is inside your fabric not outside the fabric where the raw edges will be matched with the precessing side so go ahead and place it like this and you pin it all the way down i have pinned it together this is how it is the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine continue from your stitch line that is your piping stitch line you continue from your stitch line you stitch it all the way down you come down to this other side continue from this stitch line you go ahead and stitch it all the way down 
once you have done stitching the next thing that you have to do you take this other side of your dress that is the princess inside make sure that both front fabric are facing each other place it like this and pinning all the way down once you have pinning together when you are going to stitch again you're going to turn your fabric like this because your stitches is going to be at the back of your fabric so you're going to continue stitching from the back and you end at the waistline and you take these other pieces make sure that both front fabric are facing each other you pin it all the way around and then you continue from your stitch line you stitch it all the way down once you have done stitching take your scissors snip around the curved edge to release the tension I have stitched it together. This is how it is. I take it to my ironing board. I give it a good press. This is how it is inside. You can see that I take my scissors. I just snip around the curved edge so that I release the tension. The next thing that you have to do, you take your back bodies. You are going to put the both front fabric together both front fabric facing each other once you have done that take it to your sewing machine stitch the shoulder seam with one centimeter seam allowance depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric and you also take your lining you repeat the same process stitch the shoulder seam with one centimeter seam allowance once you have done that you cut out a belt i cut out a belt the length of my belt is 26 inch or 66 centimeter and the width of my belt is two inch or five centimeters so what i'm going to do i will take it to my sewing machine i will just stitch it all the way around when i get to this other end i will stitch it a diagonal way i will show you how to stitch that on my sewing machine also remember to cut out another waistband this will be the waistband for the top dress making so I'm just going to show you how that will look. So I will place it like this at the waist line of my top dress. The width is two inch or five centimeter. So go ahead and stitch the shoulder seam of your top dress and also stitch your belt together. I have stitched the both shoulder seam together and I've also stitched my lining, both shoulder seam. I take it to my ironing board, I press the seam apart. The next thing that you have to do, you are going to put the both front fabric together. You go ahead and put them together like this and take it to your sewing machine, stitch the both armhole and the neckline. When you are stitching the neckline, remember to measure your seam allowance inside. My seam allowance is two centimeter or 0 0.75 inch. So I'll continue stitching from here and I will end on this other side. Once I am done stitching, I will take my scissor snip around the boat arm hole and the neckline to release the tension. And I will take it to my ironing board and give it a good press. And I've also stitched my bed together. You can see how that is. And I turn it inside out, take it to my ironing board and press the bed together. So go ahead and stitch your top dress neckline and the boat arm hole.
I have top stitch it together, the neckline and then the both arm hole. I turn it inside out, take it to my ironing board and give it a good press. The next thing that you have to do, you take your waistband, you pick your top dress, that is the made top dress. You are not pinning it with the lining, you're going to separate it. You place it like this, you go ahead and pin it around the waistline of your top dress. I have pinned it together, this is how it is. Before you take it to your sewing machine and top stitch, what you are going to do, you pick your belt and you place it like this, both edge and the waistband edge to make sure that they are matched. You place it together and you are going to pin that in place. When you are pinning, make sure to also separate your lining and pin them together like this. And you come down to this other side, you repeat the same process. This is the edge of my bed and I will pick my top dress and I will make sure that both edge right here and the top edge of my bed are matched and I will secure that with a pin. Once you have pinned them together, take it to your sewing machine, go ahead and top stitch. And you come to this other side, go ahead and top stitch. Once you have stitched your bed together, and so stitch the waistline of your top dress. That means you're stitching the waistband at the waistline of your top dress. You just go ahead and give it a top stitch all around. You can see the seam allowance from here to here is 0 0.5 inch or 1.3 centimeter. That will be the seam allowance I'm going to use to stitch my skirt. So go ahead and stitch them together. Once you have done that, use that opportunity to stitch the side seam of the dress together. I believe a lot of you know how to stitch the side seam together. All you have to do, you just pick your back dress, pick your front top dress, make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. You stitch the side seam together and you also come down to this other side, make fabric facing each other, lining facing each other. You go ahead and you also stitch the side seam together. Once you have stitched them together, turn your dress inside out, take it to an ironing board and press your top dress around. I have stitched the waistband on the waistline of this top dress and I've also stitched my bed. This is how it is once you have done that. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to gather our skirt at the waistline of the top dress. Because this fabric that I'm using, like I said at the beginning of the video, this fabric that I'm using is a wrap skirt for adults. So in the waistline is a little bit bigger than the top dress waistline. So I stitch a gather stitch thread at the skirt waistline. If you are making your own dress, make sure that you take the measurement of the waistline of the top dress and then you can divide the skirt. If you're using half circle skirt, you know the measurement already I have shown many times how to divide half circle skirt so that you don't have to stitch a gather stitch thread at the waistline and gather it. So what I'm going to do, I am going to put the both front fabric together like this. I will turn my top dress and I will make sure that when you're putting them together, you separate the lining from the top dress. I will just pull them together and I will secure this with a pin. And then I will come to the end. This will be the center back and the center back of the skirt. I will secure this with a pin. So once I am done with that, I will just go ahead and pull the gather stitch thread just a little bit. I'm not going to pull it so much. It is just a little bit. So go ahead and do the same. Pin your skirt at the waistline of your top dress. I have pinned the skirt around the waistline of the top dress. The next thing that I'm going to do, I will take it to my sewing machine and stitch it with half an inch seam allowance or 1.3 centimeter seam allowance. Once I am done with that, I will remove the gather stitch thread. I will take it to my overlocker, overlock the raw edges, and I will also overlock the center back. If you don't have overlocker sewing machine, you can also use zigzag to overlock the raw edges and also overlock the center back. Remember to remove your gather stitch tray.
I have stitched my skirt around the waistline of the top dress. This is how it is. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to stitch our zipper at the center. But before you do that, make sure to measure your seam allowance inside. My seam allowance is 2 cm or 0 0.75 inch. Once you have done that, also place your measuring tape at the neckline. That is the center back. Measure where you want your zipper to end. Mine is 10 inch or 25.5 centimeter. All you have to do, you open your zipper and you flip it over like this. You pick your top dress, make sure to separate the lining. You place it like this at the neckline of the center back. You go ahead and start pinning your zipper at the center back of your dress making. Once you have done pinning, take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. If you follow me on my YouTube, I have shown many times how to stitch invisible zipper at the center back or any zipper of your choice. What I usually do, once I pin my zipper at the center back, I will thread my needle, use hand stitch to stitch them together before I will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch because I don't want this pin getting on my way when I'm using invisible zipper foot to stitch the zipper at the center but once i am done with that i will just pick my lining and use my lining to cover the raw edges when you get down to the waistline make sure you fold inside your seam allowance my seam allowance is 0 0.5 inch or 1.3 centimeter fold the seam allowance inside and use it to cover the raw edges of the center back go ahead and stitch that together I have stitched my invisible zipper at the center back of my dress. This is how it looks. And I've also used my lining to cover the raw edges. You can see how that is. And for the lining, I fold inside my seam allowance. That is 1.3 centimeter or half an inch. And I use it to cover the raw edges of my skirt. You can see that I pin it all around. If you don't want to go through this process by folding your seam allowance inside and covering the raw edges, all you have to do when you are stitching your skirt on the top dress, make sure that you are pinning your lining and your top dress at the same time instead of separate the lining. So that means you're not going to separate the lining, you just pin everything together and pin your skirt and top stitch it all around. And then you can take it to your overlocker, overlock the raw edges or use it that to overlock the raw edges. That is also a perfect way to finish your skirt. Because if you don't know how to use hand stitch, so this is the easiest way for you to do that. It's what I'm going to do. I will thread my needle and use hand stitch to finish stitching the lining. Once I am done with that, the next thing that I'm going to do, I will just put the skirt together. I will go ahead and finish stitching the center back of the dress. Just go ahead and stitch it down once you have done with that. Use that opportunity to hem your dress. Fold inside one centimeter and fold it again and top stitch. The most easiest way for you to hem your circle skirt or half circle skirt, take it to your overlocker, overlock the bottom area edges, fold inside, you top stitch it all around and then you fold it again and top stitch it all around. You will have a very neat and perfect finished. That is how I am going to stitch my skirt. Once I am done with that, I will show you the final look. This is the final look of my dress step-by-step -step tutorial. You can see how beautiful that is. And I've also hemmed my skirt all around. 
and for the lining i just hand stitch to stitch the lining together you can see that you use hand stitch to stitch it together and i've also explained previously if you don't know how to use hand stitch the easiest way for you to stitch your skirts so this is how it is please support us by subscribing thumbs up on our video comment down below if you have any question thank you all so much for watching our video we love you we appreciate you all subscribe 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 subscription is free like the video share the video with your friends and loved ones comment down below if you have any question and have a wonderful wonderful day bye for now